Don't pick up the pan when it's just come out of the oven. <laughs> right, we're going to make a fish finger sandwich, the ultimate fish finger sandwich, using cod. I've lightly salted this cod before, uh, just to take a bit of moisture out of it, season it up. Um, we're going to pané them, which is flour, eggs, breadcrumbs. It's a posh word. Do you know what sounds gross? Flour, egg, breadcrumb. Now, should we A, oven bake them, or B, fry them? Fried fish fingers. What are you like? Right, so, nice piece of cod loin. So we're gonna have to cut this into fish finger styly shapes that are gonna cook at, this, at a similar time. We do what we want, Patrick. We don't really. We get told off a lot. Put a little bit of flour on the old uh, official fingers. Put that in a bowl, but I don't want to wash it up. <laughs> what do you mean? That's funny, and then not. Well, I don't say it's funny, and then don't laugh. It makes me feel worse. Flour, then egg, then breadcrumb. Now this is quite time-consuming, but it's very rewarding. Like if you're making them for your kids and that, get them involved. It's a bit messy, but it's fun. I do it with my kids. I ain't got any kids. Ein Minuten, bitte. How do you say one minute, please, in Polish? Et nu minuta. How do you count to ten? Jeden, dwa, trzy. Whoa. What? Cztery, pięć. You're fucking shyst. Shalom. Wash them. Jivage. Jishinj. Yeah, yeah. Get down with the Polish. Yeah, yeah. So we'll shallow fry these um, fish fingers on request of uh, Mr. Bibon. So a bit of um, vegetable oil. Right, so what we're doing is uh, we're pan frying these fish fingers. So I'm just going to get them golden. Like so. A knob of butter. So this is going to enrich it. That fish is going to absorb that butter. It's just going to be even more delicious. And then a wedge of limon. That goes in the oven for three minutes. In which time we'll get our bread sliced. We'll get all our stuff on there. Make it deluxe at 180. Chunky. How chunky should we go? Tell me when to stop. There. Butter. Right, what are we going with? Ketchup or tartar sauce? So it's got to be ketchup, on it? It's got to be ketchup. So this is homemade uh, ketchup. Some roasted tomatoes, comfy onions, garlic, vinegar, sugar. Your fingers are looking pretty fly. They're looking like fingers of fish. Whoa! Wouldn't it be nice if... Oh, hello. What do you think? It's controversial. It's very controversial. What do you think about getting some Polish pickles on there as well? Do you know what I think? Just think straight up, fish fingers, ketchup. Don't mess about. Let's plate it, because that's all there is left to do, right? Oh man, this this is awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna totally overcrowd this sandwich. Cramble ketchup. When you cut a sandwich, do you cut triangles or do you cut there or do you cut on a slight angle? Like that? Yeah, but you're not going to get the full cross section of the sandwich. You can go like that, just a slight, not a full triangle, just a bit of an angle. Oh, mate. It's so good. You could even go to one of those frozen superstars that's named after a country in Scandinavia and get frozen fish, defrost it, season it up nice, breadcrumb it, cheap as you like, homemade fish fingers. They're a bit of a pain in comparison to buying, but how satisfying, and look at that. That's gonna fill your kids up more than a normal sandwich. Try it, recipes on the website.